Looking for a simple fun fold card making idea? Well stick around because today you will learn how to make an accordion fold card. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, you will learn how to make an accordion card featuring products from the Stampin' Up! Country Lane Suite. This particular fancy fold card measures 12 inches long when opened and it folds down into a regular five and a half by four and a quarter inch size card. Pretty cool, right? By the end of this video, you will have a beautiful greeting card idea for the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. But don't just limit yourself to Thanksgiving cards. You can create cards for any occasion with this simple fun fold card idea. For the latest card making and paper crafting ideas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell so you will be notified each time I upload a new video. Now this accordion fold card idea can be used for a variety of occasions. Leave a comment below and let me know what occasion you would create an accordion card for. Alright, first let's talk about the supplies that you will need. You will need to cut a 5.5 by 12 inch piece of white cardstock. You're going to score the 12 inch side at 1 and 3 quarter, 4 and 3 quarter, and 7 and 3 quarter inches. Next, choose your favorite pattern papers. For this project, I am using three different patterns of paper from the Country Lane DSP. For the inside of the card, cut two pieces of the flowery DSP. The first piece you will cut at five and a quarter by one and a half inches. The second piece you will cut at five and a quarter by one and a quarter inches. Cut a piece of the yellow pattern paper at five and a quarter by two and three quarter inches. For the outside of the card, you will cut two pieces of the purple patterned DSP. The first piece you will cut at five and a quarter by two and three quarter inches. The second piece you will cut at five and a quarter by one and a half inches. Next, you will cut a one by 12 inch piece of white cardstock. This will be used for the belly band that will go around the card. You will need some scrap pieces of white paper to stamp some of the images, we will be cutting those out by hand. You will also need a mossy meadow or a green colored oval. And I use the oval, the stitched shapes framelits to cut out the oval. We will also be doing some coloring today. So you will need some type of markers. I am using the stamping blends. So I'm using the two different shades of green. So this is old olive. I am also using the darker shade of Daffodil Delight and the darker shade of Pumpkin Pie. We will be using the Country Home Stamp Set from Stampin' Up! And you will also need some ink to coordinate with the colors of your project. So I will be using Soft Suede and Cajun Craze. You will need a sponge dauber and your scissors. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start on the inside of the card first. Start by adhering the five and a quarter by one and a half inch piece of designer series paper to the first flap of the card. Next, adhere the yellow designer series paper to the second flap. Adhere the five and a quarter by one and a quarter inch piece of DSP to the right hand side of the last flap of the card. This is actually the inside of your card where the sentiment is stamped. Stamp the dried flowers image to the third panel of the card using soft suede ink. Color in the image using markers or colored pencils. For this project, I use Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol-based markers from Stampin' Up. These markers make it easy to color and shade your images. I used Old Olive, Soft Suede, Daffodil Delight, and Cajun Craze markers. Stamp the milk can on a scrap piece of white cardstock using soft suede ink. Cut out the milk can by hand with your scissors. Sponge some soft suede ink on the edges of the milk can and lightly sponge a bit of soft suede ink across the rest of the milk can. Decorate the milk can with the thanks sentiment from the Country Home stamp set. Stamp the thankful sentiment on the fourth section of the card using Cajun Craze ink. Flip the card over and let's work on the outside of the card. Adhere the five and a quarter by three and three quarter inch piece of the purple DSP to the second section of the card. Note that this DSP is merely used to cover up the ink that bled through when we use the Stampin' Blends. 
You do not need this piece if you use some other type of coloring tool that did not bleed through. And here the last piece of the purple DSP to the last flap of the card. Now simply fold the card on all the score lines to create your accordion fold. Use your bone folder to crease the folds and make them more crisp. That's it. Now the last thing we wanna do is create the belly band. So take the one by 12 inch piece of white cardstock and wrap it around the entire card. Lightly fold the sides around the card so that the belly band will easily slide on and off the card. Open the belly band back up and stamp a little sentiment on the right hand side between the two folds. Stamp the dried flowers on a scrap piece of cardstock using soft suede ink. Color in the dried flowers using the same colors that you used on the inside of the card. Stamp a milk can image on a scrap piece of paper and color that in or sponge it the same way that you sponge the one on the inside of the card. Tuck the little dried flowers behind the belly band and adhere them to the left upper part of the band. Take the green oval and adhere it in the center of the belly band so it'll be slightly behind the flowers. And for the finishing touch, add your little milk can with a few dimensionals. Now you are ready to adhere the belly band together. Use a little bit of tear and tape or a stronger adhesive to hold those two pieces together. That's it. So what did you think? Give me a thumbs up or type easy peasy in the comments below. Now you have an easy fun fold card idea that you can use for just about any occasion. So don't limit yourself to just autumn or Thanksgiving cards. Get creative with it. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. Leave a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the tips shared here today. Have fun getting creative. Take care and I'll see you soon.